Hello and welcome to our Sunday Gospel reading, Reflection and Prayer for the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a householder who went out early in the morning to hire labourers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the labourers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard, and going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And to them he said, You go into the vineyard too, and whatever is right I will give you. So they went, going, going out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, he did the same. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing, and he said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You go into the vineyard too. And when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, Call the labourers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last up to the first. And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, each one of them received a denarius. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received a denarius. And on receiving it, they grumbled at the householder, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first and the first will be last. The parable of the householder is an invitation to missionary activity. There are many souls who do not yet know Christ, and these souls need to be invited to work in the Lord's vineyard. In the labourers hired early in the morning, we recognise cradle Christians, while the other labourers hired at various times during the day represent those other souls who later on in life encounter Christ personally and give their lives to him. We should be grateful to God for the work of evangelization that missionaries everywhere continue to carry out for the good of souls, inviting them to come and work in the Lord's vineyard. But working in the Lord's vineyard is nothing else than winning souls for Christ. This is a duty incumbent on every Christian as members of God's household. St. Gregory the Great says, each one should examine in themselves to see how energetically they are working in the vineyard of the divine sower. Perhaps we have not dedicated everything we have to the service of the Lord. The people who really work for him are those who are anxious to win souls and bring others to the vineyard. As people of the sea, we meet persons from different walks of life there is great opportunity for apostolate, great opportunity to give witness to the Christian faith. May our good example inspire others to love Christ more and to give their lives to him. And now we pray with our chaplain, Gregory Hogan. God is our helper who sustains and sanctifies our life. With confidence in our Father's unfailing love, we ask him these prayers. For the Church, that through her the good news of God's love may be proclaimed to the poor and all in need of mercy. That God's bounteous kindness will transform the hearts and minds of those who govern and legislate. That the dignity of all human life 
will be protected in our laws. For the conversion of all those whose lives are dominated by envy, violence or hatred. For special blessings on husbands and wives, that their marriages will witness to the goodness of the gospel and bless their families. For the grace to evangelise our own country on this home mission day, through the witness and fruits of sincere faith. We present all our prayers to Our Lady, Star of the Sea. Great Mother of God and of us all, who knows the innumerable temptations that beset the seafarer, extend your help to your children who sail the seas and to their families and friends awaiting their safe return. Let us pray. God of all goodness, your ways are not our ways. You treat us with a love we could never have deserved. You grant us a salvation we could never have imagined through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which we celebrate on this holy day. Make us faithful agents of your bounty to all peoples, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.